Hello, I'm Knives Sun, and welcome to my kitchen floor. So, Onision has posted a video on his Speaks channel um, about drugs, uh, legalizing drugs, specifically marijuana. Um, and he's opposed and uh, makes some arguments against those who are for the legalization, legalization of drugs. So, first he says that supporting the legalization of marijuana supports more kids doing it. Um, I guess in a way it is, but I would say it's more of supporting the choice than the action itself. So, you can still say that's not a good thing to do, but you still have every right to do it. Um, cigarettes is a good example. I support the choice, not the action. Uh, next point, uh, he says that parents would be irresponsible and buy pot and then their kids would get a hold of it. Um, sure, this would happen, but uh, you know, there's there would be laws in place for underage smoking just as there is for underage drinking. Sure, parents can buy alcohol and their kids can get a hold of it, but there are laws against that. Um, and, you know, maybe enforcement isn't that great, um, but maybe you could lobby for better enforcement of laws. Um, so, I mean, this argument of, of, oh, well, parents will buy it. Well, <laughs> okay, maybe some will, but I doubt a majority will. I don't think it would be easier for kids to get uh, marijuana than it is now. I mean, I... I'm 19 and I can't get alcohol for anything, but I could easily get pot uh, because it's illegal. Because it doesn't matter. There's no uh, reason for the seller to discriminate against you for age. But with alcohol, uh, you know, it's illegal, and so they could get in trouble for selling it to you underaged. Uh, then he makes the same point again and then refers to marijuana as a gateway drug. Uh, I'm going to have to call bullshit on this. Uh, there's no study I've ever seen that says marijuana is a gateway drug. So um, if you have some information that I don't, uh, please let me know. But this is often a uh, point made by the opposition, is that it's a gateway drug. And there's <laughs> it, it'd be hard to prove, uh, honestly. Um, because it's illegal now, and as with prostitution, you know, there's uh, high levels of drug use in prostitution. Does that mean that prostitution is a gateway to use drugs? No, it's because, uh, you know, pimps are getting their uh, prostitutes addicted to drugs to keep them uh, doing what they're doing. Look at Australia. Uh, they have brothels there, and I'm, I'm pretty sure that there aren't <laughs> illegal drugs. Uh, so prostitution is not connected to drugs. It's only uh, in the black market. So when you make something an underground market or a black market, uh, you open up to anything that is a black market. You're exposed to uh, more drugs if you, know, if you smoke pot uh, illegally. You're open to heroin, uh, meth, because they're all illegal. Um, so if you legalized marijuana, you'd remove it from that illegal zone, and I really don't think that it would be a gateway drug. Okay, on to the next point. He says that you shouldn't drag everyone down with you. Uh, I guess asserting that anyone who's for legalization of drugs... Uh, or marijuana must smoke it. Uh, I don't, but I'm still for legalizing it. I'm not for imposing uh, my distaste for a drug on other people. And, and this assumes that it's not a choice. So if you make something legal and then more people start doing it, how is it the fault of the society that these people are doing it? Didn't they choose to smoke pot? Uh, I, I don't see how this is dragging other people down with you. Uh, it's still their choice. 
so yeah, um, so that's uh, my, my views on uh, drugs. Uh, I always enjoy hearing from Onision and his point of view. Uh, I, I, I generally respect his opinions, although I don't always agree and I don't always think he's extremely well informed, especially on his speaks channel, but those are kind of impromptu. But I hope uh, he can have the same respect for my views as I have for his. Alright, bye.